Okay, so I've I've got uh, the rock perch in my scene uh, already, and um, it's very high resolution, so it's going to chug my machine. So um, I'll just change it to a box outline, or once I get my mouse back, there it is. Um, okay, so wireframe box outline. And it's down here, and it's in front of the camera, we just can't see it um, at the moment. So the way I brought it in, just click on uh, load object, find your um, find your files. I've ad I just added them in in here as um, as a uh, collection. I'm going to go to uh, rock perch, which, which is where I uh, exported the obj2 you can see it there load it in and I believe I'm just going to um, I'm thinking there again yeah, there might be okay so I've, I've loaded in the VIB file which is what I've saved out from view um, which is a VOB view object file so the one I actually the one that you'll get is um, is something like a 3ds file or uh, the obj file so I'll load in the 3ds file because the other one I imported was uh, already textured so I don't want to show you that one um, okay so the rock perch um, has this uh, shiny brown um, material on it I think if I just uh, find out where it is is come down to it uh, I'm sure you guys know exactly how to position elements in view at this stage um, that's it there go to smooth shaded sometimes you have to do this uh, even though as you saw so I'll do that again I went to display options and under object display options and I clicked on smooth shaded a second time even though it was already ticked um, and that was because uh, this rock wasn't um, uh, it wasn't displaying properly. So once I clicked it again, it uh, it was happy. Okay, so it's uh, it's extremely high resolution. So you might want to. Um, um, well this is this is a previous one. So we'll get rid of that. one so you might want to decimate these um, these objects once they come in but um, I find that uh, setting them to display as box can can be fine okay so just pause that while uh, the object imported you can see here that uh, it's still very slow, but um, I've got the right um, object now. So I'm going to switch this over to to render as a box, and um, so it's come in sideways, and that'll happen uh, because View and other um, software deal with their uh, X, Y, and Z properties uh, differently. So uh, it's it's down here. So position it in your scene um, as you, as you like. Uh, as I've got um, thinking uh, in this shot here, I've got my main one just sitting uh, right here in front of us. Uh, let's see if with smooth shaded we'll flip that on. It's there, but it's just not showing up in this viewport for some reason. So um, so next thing I do is we get edit material. And we're going to load up a, uh, a material of, of ours, and um, let's just get rid of that. Um, okay, okay. So I've, I've in in the image you see in the uh, in the magazine, I've got uh, one of my own uh, materials that I made based off um, 
quad spinners uh, material so I just um, looked at the shapes and patterns that they had and tried to uh, recreate it it failed miserably but um, it <laughs> does the trick um, so select your uh, the material that you want and we'll come in to but we don't want a mixed material uh, let's switch this and go simple so this is the material I'm going to use uh, come into the bumps and we go um, into uh, this point here where we go with the uh, displacement mapping and the bump production and we go normal map we find our uh, folder so I've added it here as another collection and these are the different uh, normal maps that I have. So I'm going to use this one, number two, which has got the uh, the bigger de details. And then we'll click node and sequence. And you can see already the, uh, the detail that's been added. So if I turn off the amplitude, bang, turn it on, and that's what we've got there. So, um, okay, so we'll click OK on that see how that is to, uh, to render once I find it again where it is. So this is just material tweaking and uh, to uh, be the way you want. I'm guessing this is going to be uh, well and truly too, uh, too, too bright. Building the uh, procedural terrain from the background, so it takes a little bit longer than it should. Okay, so um, the last thing to do after we've got our material sort and we place this where we want um, is just to uh, put the uh, the final render settings in. Um, okay, so that is entirely too bright, and so we'll come in. Darker. I use very bright scenes by default, so sometimes I have to use extremely dark textures um, in order to uh, to get the the effect I want. So, not sure, not sure why I use bright bright scenes. I just tend to construct my lighting atmospheres and things like that um, on the bright on the bright side, and then I just tone down textures. So. Wait for that, see how it comes out. So the reason it pauses every time it does a quick pass and then pauses is because it's building more of the uh, procedural terrain in the background. Um, it does that um, iteratively. So, okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. That's uh, quite a nice, nice texture. Once I've got it structured and, and placed in the corner of my, my scene, um, like in uh, this not that shot this shot um, we come to our uh, final part of uh, the render settings and that's not what I wanted to do I wanted to right click and we want to untick uh, render area if you've got that ticked and just selecting final will uh, will do the job I I like to render things at a high resolution at a lower quality when I'm when I'm doing stills um, it just allows for um, for more fine tweaking of, of each little area if I need to do a touch up here or there uh, color correction you've just got a bit more accuracy um, and uh, then also so it's quite often I'll render at uh, double the the size that I need um, and uh, and just uh, scale it down that that way four four pixels becomes one and Photoshop can just average the four of them out so uh, yeah, that's that's about it, uh, guys. Um, sorry about the uh, the break in the in the video. Um, would have been nice to have had that uh, work, but um, nevertheless, um, all the best and uh, good luck with your uh, images.